Good morning, everybody. I believe it is now Vlogtober Day 25. And I just have one question this morning. Do I really have to get out of bed? <sighs> as much as I would love to stay here, come on. Let's get this party started. Okay, okay, up and at them. Out of bed, face wash, acid applied, waiting for that to dry so I can moisturize. And I'll change my clothes and we'll get started with today. But let's open up these windows and see what's happening out there. Ooh, looks like a beautiful day. Let's step outside and see. Oh yes, so beautiful. Hot though, you guys. I told you those cooler temperatures wouldn't last very long. Definitely hot one, but look how beautiful and sunny and such pretty blue skies. Gotta love that Florida life. Just got done filming for you guys. This quick and easy, simple, little everyday kind of makeup look. You guys know that I don't typically wear makeup around my house every day. If you've been watching the vlogs, you've probably been quite scared. However, I have thought recently, you know, I might like to get up and start doing it more often than I do. Just get up and play around with it a little more because now I have everything all organized and it's easy to get to again for so long. My makeup has just been scattered and crammed and all over the place. So I may can start doing that a little more. So experimenting with some quick and easy everyday looks. So be looking for that video because it'll be up before the vlog. You just might like it. Goes the kiddos. Where you headed, bud? Practice. Soccer practice. The coach has been pretty pleased with you, huh? Mm -hmm. Told you yesterday he thinks you're going to get quite a bit of playing time. Yeah. That's exciting for your first season. It is. Yeah. Well, have a good practice. Be safe. Yeah. So off they go. Big sister to drop him off. Dinner is finished. Finito, done, consumed, whatever. We had little cardboard pizzas straight from the freezer at the grocery store to the oven. But they actually tasted pretty good, not bad. So now we're trying to dig down here and grab the product for this week's Worth a Buck review. This one is going to require my husband and we have to go outside to do it. Should be very interesting. So guys, be looking for that tomorrow. That will be the Dollar Tree Worth the Buck. gathering up all of his supplies, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. I'll keep you in suspense until tomorrow. Look at that mosquito. Let's see him. You, you actually picked him off of your elbow. Good night. Dad, look. Man, that is a huge mosquito. All right, the Worth the Buck is finally finished, you guys, but we have been fighting these huge mosquitoes all throughout. So definitely make sure you watch that one, even if for nothing else, but just to give us some moral support for fighting through these gargantuan, monstrous mosquitoes tonight. Well, hubby working hard again, had to pull the bed out and kills this part of the floor. We had already killed it when we first did the construction, but these windows in our bedroom here were the worst in the entire house because right outside this window is a huge tree that just constantly leaks water down there. And when we pulled the walls apart, that window was leaking worse than the rest of them and it had actually caused some damage to the flooring underneath. So, instead of having to take all the flooring out as far as the plywood base, we found out that we could add the antimicrobial to the kills and to paint that up. But, since we've moved back in this room, I have been experiencing some of the symptoms again and not real severe. So, we know that it's, it's not bad, not like it used to be. But the only thing that we can figure is that it must still be coming through this floor just a little bit. So we're going to try to kill this over again and seal it in good with some caulk in a couple of places and hope that will do the trick. What a process. Dealing with mold is no joke. 
All right, Michelle, if you are watching from Way to Sun, I had to give you an update. You knew that we had been having, you can see right there, some issues with some rust stains in different parts of the house and then also some discolorations just because of our water being so bad. And I had mentioned that one time and you mentioned to me about trying a product called Barkeeper's Friend, which I had never tried. We usually get one from our local hardware store and I forget the name of it, but at any rate, my mom had some of this Barkeeper's Friend the other night and I said, well, let me try that because I've heard it's good. And look at here, guys. It is getting up just about every bit of those rust stains that was on this marble. Now, I haven't actually tried it in my kitchen on that surface yet, but as far as getting it off of this marble countertop, it's working quite nicely. There's the inside of the kitchen sink all stained just from the water because we have horrible water. And I really wish this camera would show you quite how orange it is. It's not even picking it up as bright orange as it is. But let's see what this barkeeper's friend will do on this. The other stuff that we've been getting from the hardware store works really well, but it's a liquid. This is a powder. Definitely not working as quick or easy as it did on that marble surface. This more porous surface, I'm not sure that this is going to work on it. Now look right there. It's working up there. And that's where it's a little less porous. Down in here though, not sure that it's going to work down here. It's definitely working along the edges. Look at that. Can they see that, babe? Yeah, you can see where it's coming right off the edges. That is beautiful, but having a little bit harder time here. Let me keep working on it. We'll let you see what happens. So here's what we're looking like so far. Oh my goodness. It definitely cleaned the sides up really, really well. Still a little bit of staining in the bottom, but I think with another round of it and a little more elbow grease, I could probably get it all up. Look at it compared to this other side. And this other side isn't even as bad as this side was because this, of course, is where we use the water most often because of the disposal. So this one was built up even worse. But even at that, look at that side by side, the difference already. So I am thoroughly convinced, Michelle, it did a really great job. So I only took a little bit from my mom. I just wanted to try it out because honestly, I was a little skeptical knowing as bad as the sink was, but I have been turned into a believer. So I will be heading to my Walmart to pick some more of this up and finish the rest of this sink. All right, another busy night of filming. Look at this disgusting thing here, you guys. Explosions of i don't even remember what it was some kind of i think it was barbecue beef soup i mean not barbecue beef vegetable beef soup vegetable beef soup <laughs> that is disgusting and i have purposely let it cake on so that i could film you guys a video on how to easily clean a microwave so that is what we shall do right now that video is done and now one more video for the night i'm gonna go and record how to clean makeup brushes i've been meaning to do that for a long time and now that we're finally got everything all situated i'm gonna be able to do that for you tonight so be looking for those not sure exactly which days these videos will go up a lot of times i do try to pre-record my videos so that i can get them up for you guys in a timely manner so just be watching the channel they'll be up sooner or later but come on let's go dig out those brushes and get down to the nitty gritty and there you have it all done that video will be up for you guys within the next couple of days and i also have a diy video to make this drying rack it cost me i think a total of six dollars <laughs> to make that which is much cheaper than the ones that you actually order online so be looking for this video well, many of you guys saw that i still had one of the little vanity jars that didn't have its skin yet so i guess while i got just a couple of minutes i'll doctor him on up there it is, all skinned up. In case you missed the original DIY video on this, I'll have it linked for you down below where I show you exactly how to do these super fun and cute little DIY, all with products from the Dollar Tree. Now let's go put him back. And there he is, 
fits in quite nicely with the rest of his little buds. Well, this one's empty because I'm currently drying those brushes. You'll see that a little later. And with that being done, I think I'm gonna call it a night. I think that was the last thing on my list for today. It's been quite a busy day as usual. Anyway, I'm gonna call it a night and leave it there. Go kick back, relax a little bit, and get this video up for you guys. Don't forget to be looking for that Worth the Buck tomorrow. I think that you'll probably enjoy that one. And then stay tuned the rest of the week for all the rest of these videos that will make their appearance very soon. I wanna thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again tomorrow.